Dixon Yeo had some serious LinkedIn skills. So good, they got him arrested. Yeo was a spy. He would connect with US government employees, extract intelligence, and pass it on to China. But international spying isn't new. Why would I betray you? We all have our secrets. And it's not easy to track. We just didn't get to yours yet. One method involves radio. Welcome to Enigma. Alan Turing helped Britain decrypt Nazi messages during World War II. That's the only German you need to know to break Enigma. It's definitely not a good time to be a Nazi. But another, more secret system existed even before the Nazis. Six, six, four, seven, five. Mysterious voices would appear on people's radios. They spoke in many languages, but announced only numbers. It's believed that the communications were intended for international spies. Do you have any association with the Soviet Union? Hell no. Technology's come a long way since the days of the simple radio. But spies still don't trust public networks, and with good reason. In July, mass protests caused the Ethiopian government to switch off the internet. The country was cut off for more than two weeks. But spy communications were not affected. Six, six, four, seven, five. These mysterious number stations will remain relevant for as long as humans stay curious. One can only hope that the instructions contained within the messages are less damaging than the administrations they infiltrate. The world is arming faster than we can respond.